Uh, do you think there's an afterlife? Yes, I do. After we die, if we haven't evolved to where we have transcended uh, earthly conditions, earthly um, uh, yeah, conditions, and we have to come back, we're here to master earthly conditions. Is this reincarnation? Uh, if you want to call it reincarnation. You, call it. you know, you get judged after the judgment day. It's just, that's where God decides if you go to heaven or hell. Who's in charge of giving out these bodies? Um, who's in charge? Yeah, there's got to be someone in charge that gives out. The one, the one force that is in charge of all creation. So it's God that gives the new bodies? Uh, well, actually, uh, the mother. And you don't know until that day? Uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. And you don't know until that day. So where do you think you're going? Well, right now to hell, I think. So what do you think the Bible's claim? It's appointed a man once to die, and after this, the judgment. Well, I mean, I think the judgment, I think we judge ourselves. I, uh, any proof that I have that God is omnipresent is myself, because everywhere I go, there I am. Well, basically, I'm not following God's, how, how, what God wants us to do. Are you lying and stealing? Not lying and stealing. How many lies do you think you've told in your life? Too many. So, are you a good person? Absolutely. How many lies have you told in your life? Um, I, I couldn't count that. Ever stolen something? It's been a while. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Probably so, yes. Now, Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at a woman with lust? Yes. Have you ever had sex out of marriage? Yes. You've just told me you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, an adulterer at heart, and a fornicator. And you're right. If you face God on Judgment Day, you're going you're gonna to end up in hell. Now, does that concern you? Yes. Yali, I'm not judging you, but you've just told me you're a lying thief, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart. So if God judges no, you... No, no, no. You asked me, have I ever done that in my life? Yes. But that doesn't mean that I'm, uh, that's something that I continue to do. So what can you do about it? What can you do to be made right with God? Well, you know, repent, and that's it. Repent and follow His Word. Well, repentance isn't going to help you. It's like saying to a judge, I committed the crime, but I'll never do it again. I'm sorry. The universe always balances itself. In other words, if I'm out of line or I'm out of order, certain consequences come into play to put me back in line and put me back in order. This is natural divine law and natural divine order. Stop what I'm doing, basically. Stop what I'm doing and follow what God wants me to do. What does God want you to do? To put out his word and get, get people, you know? No. There's several people in the world right now that are doing crooked things that think they're getting away with it, but energetically you're not. You may not go to jail, you, the police may never catch you, but energetically, you will greet that which you put in motion. Boy, that's right, and the Bible says every time we sin, we store up God's wrath that's gonna be revealed on the day of judgment. So when you stand before God in judgment, being guilty of breaking those commandments, are you gonna to go to heaven or hell according to the Bible? Oh, well, I don't know. You need a savior. You need to repent and trust in Jesus because he died on the cross to take the punishment for the sin of the world. And because I love you, I've got to tell you, the Bible says all liars of their part in the lake of fire, no thief, no blasphemer, no adulterer will inherit God's kingdom. But he made a way for you to be forgiven, for you to be justified and made right with him and find everlasting life. Do you know how he did that? Um, I'm familiar with Christianity. In fact, I was raised a Christian. Really quick, if you're enjoying this video, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our YouTube channel where we post two new encouraging videos every single day. We also have many more resources available on livingwaters.com. Thank you so much. You and I violated God's law. The Ten Commandments are called the moral law. Jesus came and paid the fine. If you're in court, someone pays the fine, the judge can let you go. And because of what Jesus did on the cross and taking the punishment for the sin of the world, God can dismiss your case, forgive your sins, commute your death sentence, that is, let you live forever, legally, even though we're guilty. Because of what Jesus did on the cross, there is death and resurrection. What you have to do is repent and trust in him, like you trust a parachute. And the miracle, Manuel, is that God will give you a desire to do that which is right. At the moment, you're what's called a child of disobedience. A spirit works in you that's against God. It walks in rebellion to God. If you're born again, God will give you a new heart with new desires so that you long to do that which pleases him. It's called thirsting for righteousness, and he'll give you that if you call upon his name. The Bible says, whoever calls upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. He is able to save to the uttermost those that come to God by him. Now, am I telling the truth? Yeah. So if you die today, you're gonna end up in hell. 
That's that's horrific. So when are you going to get right with God? As soon as possible, man. So you're going to think about what we talked about? Yeah, I, yeah, I'm, I really am. Do you have a Bible? Yes, I do. I thank you for your patience with me. Thank you for listening to me. I really appreciate it because you've got your own philosophy, but I want you to just give this some serious I, thought. I, I, I trust me. I spent the first 18, 19 years of my life um, under Christianity, and it, it didn't answer the questions that, that my soul thirsts for. You're like the third or fourth person that tells me that in, the, in this whole week. So God's hands upon you. You better do something. That's already, that's already God talking already, so something serious type of thing. So make sure you do something about it. Yeah, hell yeah, I got to. I understood that it is my responsibility to save myself. Okay, well, thanks for talking to me. I appreciate it. Thank you.